Mr. Carl Maria with another Nightmare Before Christmas DIY. Today we'll be making this flying zero and its tombstone, which you'll also be able to light up to make this awesome decoration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more DIYs every single week. First up, let's start by making zero. We're basically making a zero shaped mold out of foil. Here, I've shaped out its head and secured any loose bits with tape. To hold his body in shape, I've taken some wire and bent it to the shape of his body. Use bottles or any junk you can find to make the arch of his body. Now that you've done this, you can seal them together with tape and then cover everything with foil. Attach the head and make some foil ears, keeping the ears separate. Fill a bowl with craft glue and fabric stiffener. I'll put a list of products I use in the description below. Take some cheesecloth, soak it and drape it over the zero. I've put around two layers on the body and an extra layer on the head. Once you leave it overnight to dry, it should have stiffened so that you could pull it out of the mold. To get the foil out of the head, you may need to take out little pieces at a time. Cut off the end of the ears and pull the foil out. Trim off any areas that you don't want. Stick on the ears with a hot glue gun. Now your zero should look something like this. I'm painting a jack-o'-lantern onto a ping-pong ball as his nose. You can also put an LED light inside. If you're making your zero smaller than mine, you can use things like a pom-pom. Make his eyes and mouth out of felt or paint it on. To make his tombstone, I'm using cardboard and sticking them together with a hot glue gun. Cut out the letters and the door using a Stanley knife and some scissors and stick some card behind. Once you've cut out and glued on a cross, take some foam and cut out Zero's face and bones. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Imperfection is perfection in Tim Burton's world. I also added foam to the cross to make it a little more three-dimensional. Make the roof out of pieces of card. I used a lid and the bottom of an old shoe box just to save time. Cut out some tiles and stick them on with glue. Now the tombstone is complete, we're going to paper mache it to give it some texture. I'm using toilet paper or kitchen paper, and I'm pouring some flour and some craft glue into some water. I don't really use specific measurements, I just make sure that it's the right consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or too thin, but you can find a recipe online. I've covered the entire tombstone in paper mache and left it out to dry. It's now ready to paint. An easy way to paint it for me was to spray paint it or paint it black and then take a sponge and paint with different shades of grey. Now our tombstone and zero is complete, we can put them together. You'll need a clear acrylic rod. Make a small hole behind the cross and insert it. Use some super glue to secure it onto the cross. Glue zero on the other end of the rod, placing a piece of plastic from a packaging or a bottle in between just to spread the weight or you can not glue it and just balance it on like so. To light Zero up, I took two small LED lights that I got from the dollar store, placed one in its head and one behind the cross. And now our Zero is complete. Thanks so much for watching.